Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. Well, my daughter broke my keyboard on my 2013 MacBook Air, so I decided that I'm going to go ahead and freestyle fix this thing. So I got my iFixit toolkit, keyboard that I bought off of eBay, backlight, and a little magnet holder there. So uh, let's get this started. Uh, first things first, just get your iFixit toolkit and we're gonna be removing the back plate alright so I sped this video up two times so we can uh, so it's not an hour or two hours long this took me over the course of multiple days to do because I was just busy with other things and I actually had to order an additional backlight so with that said I'm gonna try to voice this thing over I'll play some music in the background as well so basically just get the 10 screws off of the back plate as you can see I'm doing here and uh, like I said, this was a freestyle um, repair. I didn't look at anything until the very end, which I'll show you why I had to look that up. So I was just going to see if I can uh, get this thing replaced. It was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but I did get it working. All right, then just make sure the two screws at the top are a little bit longer. So, uh, you know, the iFixit magnetic pad, I can't tell you how much I like this thing. It keeps all your screws in one place. So. All right, now that we've got all the screws up, I'm just going to pop up the back plate here. Oops, I left one extra screw on the side. All right, so let's get the black uh, back plate up. All right, so it uh, doesn't look like anything too difficult here. So I'm just going to remove the battery. I can see some screws. Uh, I think it's one, I think it's five or so screws or seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that. Same thing, just um, some screws are longer than the other, so always place them exactly um, where they should go on the magnetic pad or a piece of paper, and then you'll know exactly where to put them when you put them back on. All right, so the battery is very easy to replace. It's just those screws, it lifts up, and there's just one connector, and that usually just lifts up with the battery. You can kind of just pop it up. So if you ever have to do a battery, it's probably a five minute job. So I'll just pop up that connector there and just like so. Cool. Easy part done. All right, so next I'm just gonna start removing some of the connectors here. Uh, that's the display connector. Just lift up on the little clamp and then you can pull that out. Now I'm pulling off the Wi-Fi connectors you can use your fingers if you want or some kind of uh, tool try to use plastic if you can so you don't scratch anything up as you can see I'm kinda using this I was able to get right underneath it and then pop it up and a lot of these use hex screws and um, some Phillips as well okay these are the speakers that just pops up and there's one on each side Like I said, I'm just going around and kind of finding what I can just pop out to get out of the way. And you need to remove uh, pretty much all the connectors you see. Just get them out of their place. Pull, pull them back. Just be gentle. You don't want to break any tabs. Some are tabless where you just pull them directly out. And some actually have like a little tab that you have to pull up on first uh, before it'll slide out. Okay, now that I got the connectors out, I'm just removing the Wi-Fi uh, chip. And then you don't have to do this, I don't believe, but uh, or you may, but uh, I'm just pulling out the, uh, I believe that's the M.2 or whatever Apple's uh, equivalent is. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the board. So same thing, just make sure you have all the screws in the right place. There's three right there. And I think there's one on the right side. I may not have that in the camera. There we go. Then we're going to remove the fan. This is just three screws. All right. 
just like that fans out then you can move the right side USB piece so we're getting pretty good here so it's, it's actually not too bad so far now the main board is coming loose just make sure you don't rip any connectors there's still a connector that I left on right there so make sure you pull the tab up on the back and then pull it out there we go the tab was on the back I was pressing the front and there's another small connector there that I didn't see as well okay now you just have the back plate here we have the board removed now I don't know if you have to do this I just grabbed a blow dryer and I just wanted to heat up the speakers because they're held on with adhesive So I just got that uh, kind of loose, just to be on the safe side. All right, once they're loose, you can just get them off. And then you want to take these pieces of tape off on the top. There's, I think, five of them. Just kind of lift them up. That holds the, um, I think this is the Wi-Fi wire that connects the back there. And then just get that one last connector. Actually, there's that connector and then one more you'll have to do. Just kind of follow around, get that tape off of the edge. You probably don't have to remove the tape like I did. You can probably get away with just removing one corner first and then pulling it off. Now I'm just removing the screws on the top. This will uh, get the front uh, front plate off. Okay, and then this is one of the mistakes I made. I actually had to edit out a uh, part of the video. So you can just, you're not removing the black um, tape that you're seeing here, or just kind of cover. You're going to re be removing the whole back plate as one piece. Um, I was just kind of freestyling this, thinking, oh, let me just remove this uh, black tape. And that was a mistake. So you can probably save yourself about five minutes or so. Just lift up the left side and grab the black piece along with the uh, with the back uh, backlight, and just go ahead and just remove the entire keyboard.
Okay, now I'm getting the back plate out. Just like so. And like I said, I had to order a new one of those because it's probably going to break while you're taking it off. So just make sure you have one of those ordered as well. Now there's a bunch of black screws all around the perimeter, uh, top, bottom, left, and right that you need to get off. Just uh, I believe these are Phillips and it's included in the iFixit toolkit. Just take your time, this will take a little while. And just get all of them off. Alright, hopefully these are the last ones it's looking like. As you can see, it's a bunch of black screws. These ones are all the same, so you can you can mix those up if you need to. Okay, now I'm gonna be removing the Wi-Fi wire and then along with the front plate. So what you want to do is just kind of flex the front plate up um, just to get that wire out of the back. These sticky pieces are wrapped around the wire and you just have to get those out individually one by one. And as soon as that wire's out, uh, just take your time. You don't want to rip these things. They do go around the frame. So just let it, um, just go ahead and pull them out completely. Perfect. Now we got the wire out and I'm going to remove the front plate and I was just trying to wiggle it out. I realized all you had to do is just um, undo the laptop, just kind of flex it like you're opening it up and it will come loose very easily. Perfect. So all I needed to do was just flex it out and then it would have came up. All right, we're at our base. Now I'm just removing the last cable for the keyboard. This also um, has a little tab on it, so just make sure you lift it up. It's a little weird to get to, but it pops right up and then the cable will come loose. Popped up and it's out. All right, the next part is to put some tape over the back end. This is where I did have to look at another YouTube video to see how they did it because there's these metal rivets on the inside um, that attaches the keyboard that doesn't even let you pop the keyboard out. So just get you some tape, put it along the back side because you will be popping these rivets off um, and that will keep them from going everywhere. I almost cut that cable there, didn't even see it. Thank God I didn't. All right, perfect. So once the tape is off, my camera cut off here, so I only got a little bit. But you're just gonna grab the whole plate and peel it back, and you're gonna have to peel pretty hard to get those rivets off. And it doesn't matter, because you're replacing the keyboard anyway, so. Alright, and that's it. So now we can go ahead and put our new keyboard in. Just gonna slide it into place. Alright, 
I'm going to reattach the cable. Just put it in and then push down on the tab. And it's sometimes a lot easier to use your finger when pushing it in. So just double checking to make sure it's in, and then I'm flattening the cable. All right, now let's start the steps to reassemble. We're gonna go ahead and just put all the black screws back around the perimeter, up, down, left, right, and just take your time and get those in. Once they're in, just make sure you go around and tighten them all. All right, now it's time for the backlight. All right, so you're just going to slide this in. There's two or three holes that you want to match them in first before you start to stick it down. And once the holes are matched up, you can just start going along uh, the edges and just uh, getting the um, pieces of tape stuck to the frame. And if they don't stick completely, it's fine. Mine didn't. I had to remove it one time because I messed up the first time. So it probably doesn't even stick all that well anyways. But just get uh, what you can. And just be careful with the ribbon cables. All right now I'm attaching the plate through the front again just flex it just like I did before and the way I was holding this was really weird it took me a while to just get one of the screws in but I finally got it in make sure not to tighten all the screws just get them all in first and then tighten them all down once all four of them are in Okay, now I'm going to start uh, putting the USB board and microphone port board back in. And you just slide that in just like so. Now we'll get the main board slid in. And just make sure the holes line up as much as you can. Okay, now we're going to put the fan right on top. Make sure it sits um, nice and flush. And then we'll start putting the screws back uh, to the fan. And now we'll start putting the screws in for the board. Same thing as before, keep them loose until all of them are in and then just go ahead and tighten them.
right, the board's nice and tight. We're getting closer. Okay, now it's cable time. I'm just going to go in nice and slowly and just make sure you get all the cables in and they're nice and flush. Uh, you want to press them in nice and snug, but not too hard to break the cables. Um, some cables have tabs, some don't. And you'll be able to see which ones do and which ones don't. And just like I said, just make sure you're nice and gentle, but also firm at the same time. All right, now I'm going to move over to the display cable. This one goes in really easy, and then you just use the bar to clamp it down. Okay, we're just finishing up this last little small one here. This one is a little weaker, so make sure you're able to get it all the way in. And then press down. All right, next I'm getting the speakers in place. You can put new adhesive if you would like. I just kept it the way it was. Um, but uh, yeah, you could actually add a little double-sided tape if you would like. Now we're putting the final um, last cables in place. These are the ones that fully detach. Slide it into the line and then lock it in. All right, one more cable on the right. These you just align and press down. And you'll fill it with your finger when it's in. And you can kind of pull up on it if you'd like just to make sure that it's in. But they're pretty snug. Okay, I'm just going by now and just making sure that everything's in correctly. Always want to double check connectors. You don't want to open this back up. Okay, now I'm just putting the Wi Fi chip back in. And then the um, storage unit, I think it's an M.2 or something equivalent to whatever Mac has. And these screws are different, they're a little fatter, and there's only two of them. They have a wider head. And I 
believe I put this one in backwards here so I don't never force it kind of match up the connectors as I can see the I didn't look at the top to, to match it up I was just checking but it wasn't going in so never force it realize wrong direction flip it around this one went in really easy snaps in and then tighten it down alright now I'm gonna attach the Wi-Fi cables these ones take a little time um, to get over I think I had to do this multiple times finally I got them to snap into place alright now it's time for the battery just make sure that ribbon cable is nice and flat and it doesn't um, crease it and then secure it with the screws that we removed earlier almost finished now time for the back plate same thing the two top ones are a little bit longer so make sure uh, you're putting the right ones in Alright, now that all the screws are in, just keep going diagonal, different uh, locations, yeah, and finish tightening up everything. Perfect, everything looks nice and tight. Only thing left to do is flip the thing over, turn it on, and hope that it works. Okay, let's flip it. We're just going to power on. When it's on, obviously just go through and make sure that the keyboard works, the backlight works, and mouse and everything works. I got lucky. This all worked on the first try. So I'm just going to tap the keyboard here and kind of show you that it works. And we're going to end this video, you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.